Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I will show you how you can embed a form from Microsoft Forms inside a video in Microsoft Stream. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So uh, actually, this is a pretty cool feature uh, where you can make your video a bit more interactive uh, for your uh, visitors, for your viewers. So I happen to have a few videos in here. Let's click on this one. Um, essentially a really cute video uh, with a bird. Uh, and um, let's just say, you know, it's a training video, all right? Let's just say it's a training video. And I also want to, my users maybe throughout the video to uh, answer some questions, like a quiz of some sort, right? So here's what you need to do. There are actually a few steps uh, involved. Um, uh, just to show you, I have this quiz right here, and that's what I want to embed uh, inside uh, of the video file. So while watching the video, the users can, you know, uh, provide the answers. So here's what you need to do. Uh, obviously, you first need to create the quiz, the form. Uh, then you go to the video, and you need to click on Video Settings, and you need to enable interactivity. By default, it's off, all right? So you need to uh, enable that. Once you do, you get this uh, extra uh, option over here. You see, uh, you get this extra option over here. And when you click, this is where you can add uh, a form or a call out. And uh, this particular uh, you know, video, I will sh show you how to embed a Microsoft form. So you just click that. And all you need to do is just uh, pretty much paste the link of that form, as well as provide the timestamp when you want this form to appear. So uh, let's do this. Uh, let's first go to the form. I'm going to collect responses. Uh, I want to uh, copy that link. And uh, essentially, this is the link I will paste in here. But I want the form to show maybe in five uh, you know, seconds, uh, essentially, right? Uh, I chose a particular timestamp. Could be whatever you want it to be. And uh, that's pretty much it. All right. Now you can um, you can uh, uh, you know let me save it. You can create multiple you know forms. Maybe in uh, 20 minutes you want to add another uh, form and so on. So you can do that. So we are ready now to share our video. And I'm going to uh, copy the link. And you know what? I really want um, you know everyone within the organization to view the video, but uh, obviously I want them to view, all right? So I'm going to uh, copy that link right here, and let me now go to this is another user's you know screen. I'm logged in as Mary here, and you know let's pretend I send this link to Mary. So I'm going to click enter, and of course uh, Mary will uh, now be able to uh, play the video. Uh, let's actually expand it just like that. And look, it actually shows Mary that at that point of time, there will be a form that will pop up and five seconds have passed. And now we are ready to, uh, you know, uh, essentially uh, submit uh, the form. Now, if Mary didn't want to uh, answer the questions, you know, she, you know, the question, she could continue to the video. But uh, let's just uh, answer the question, click submit. And it's a typical response you get, right, when you submit a regular form. And now, at this point of time, uh, we can continue to the video, all right? And now, obviously, the user can uh, continue watching the video. Uh, once again, the user can uh, opt for, well, the, you can opt for multiple forms, right? You could have multiple forms uh, within the same you know, video as well, just to add them at uh, different uh, timestamps. That's all there is to it. I mean, this option is uh, pretty, you know, straightforward. Uh, and in my opinion, it's a great option. Uh, it's an amazing option, obviously. Uh, if you have long videos, maybe some training videos, right? You want to embed the quizzes uh, along the way. Uh, or, you know, another um, essentially uh, option, uh, maybe you want uh, at the end of the video something or it, you know within the video different chapters you sections of the video you want maybe people you know your employees to fill out a form and confirm that they watched this particular 
you know, this particular, you know, section of this particular video. So you want to have a record of that. So that's another option uh, for you uh, to consider. So definitely, definitely uh, a great addition to uh, Microsoft Stream and Microsoft Forms. Uh, all right, so that's all I wanted to show you in this particular uh, video. Hopefully uh, you learned a new trick. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as, as well as my YouTube channel. Goodbye.